Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm back for another money making tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you how to profit from minions. Minions are a little complicated in terms of which one is the best for making money. Now, before the bizarre update came out, the answer was pretty simple as to which one made the most money. And at the time, it was snow minions. Snow minions have the fastest action time out of any minion in the game with a speed of 6.5 seconds between actions of course it says 5.2 in here because enchanted lava bucket the minion would produce snow and diamonds alongside them clay minions were also considered one of the best money making strats in the game because uh it made a similar amount of money a little less but overall still very very good once the bazaar came out that changed everything instead of being able to spam npcs to purchase things now all the items that you can buy in bulk are supplied by players so for example gold shot up in price because you can no longer buy it at the merchants and now it costs almost three times as much as it did at the npc at 150,000 coins per stack of enchanted gold so when this happened there was a scramble to find the best minion to produce these resources for the bazaar gold was one of the best ones flint was one of the best ones lapis still remains to be one of the best ones but the price went down a lot because a lot of people found out about that one but anyway doing a tutorial showing which minion produces the most money is kind of pointless because the second i make that tutorial everybody would scramble to sell that thing the supply would go up the demand probably won't change that much so the value will drop and then that minion will no longer be the best for making money so i decided that i wanted to figure out a way to make a timeless tutorial something that won't expire so i put together a little equation that calculates how much a minion will make in a day so if we check my chat i just typed in an equation Earnings is equal to 86,400 divided by the minion's action time times the items per action times the unit price plus 138,240 divided by the action time. Now, what does this equation mean? Is the amount of coins you will get per day for selling the drops of a minion. The second half of the equation, the 138,240 divided by action time, is the earnings that you will get, estimated earnings, of diamond spreading. I assumed that you would sell diamonds at the NPC, but you can actually make a little bit more than that by selling to the bazaar with diamonds. So. Uh, results may vary. I would actually expect you make a little bit more than what the calculator says. Uh, but anyway, how do you get these figures? So let's do the math for my snow minions. You need to get three variables. The first of which is the minions action time. So to get that, we go into the crafted minions. We go to, I'm using snow tier 11. And then as you can see, uh, a snow minion has an action time of 6.5 seconds. So we're going to write that down 6.5 seconds. All right. Then we go back to our equation items per action. Now, this is not something that you can easily find. You have to test it yourself. So I put down the snow minion, right? And we observe what is a minion actions, right? So what is it doing every 6.5 seconds or in this case, 5.2 seconds? Let's hide the pet. So it's less annoying. Every 5.2 seconds, it will break a block or place a block so he's about to break a block and collect four snow because it's a snow block right boom plus four snow 5.2 seconds later places a block and gets nothing so that means on average for every minion action the snow minion gets two snowballs right that makes sense because he gets four every other minion action and doesn't get any in between so that means he has an average of two items per action now this also means for example with something like i don't know a spider minion right it's going to use up a minion action to spawn the spider and then another one to kill it and then you have to calculate right how many how much string does it get on kill uh on average you have to calculate that divided by two now if you have a farm 
where you spawn mobs, for example, chickens, and then they die in hoppers, you actually don't have to divide by two because every minion action will result in spawning a mob and it will die on its own without an additional action. So that's something to consider. But anyway, once you get the items per action, you have to go to the bazaar and calculate the unit price. Now I'm selling snow, so I don't have to actually go to the bazaar. I go to the farm merchant or any other merchant and snowballs sell for one each. So I get uh, the unit price is one. Per one snowball, I make one coin. Now, if you wanted to sell something at the bazaar, you would be like, oh, redstone minions, right? How much does a redstone sell for? If I were to look at uh, sell offers, 4.2 coins is what I would get per redstone. So that would be your unit price. So now that we have all three of these uh, figures, now we have to do the math. So I'm gonna pull up a calculator. As you can see, a Google calculator, nothing too complicated. So 86,400 divided by the action time. Oh, which we actually have um, an effective action time of 5.2 because we have the enchanted lava bucket. So we can actually put that down instead of 6.5 times the items per action, which is two times the unit price, which is one, which is this. So one tier 11 snow minion makes me 33,230 coins per day in snow. Now let's add to that 138,240 divided by 5.2. Now that's the money from diamond spreading. So in total, every single day, a snow minion will make me about 60,000 coins, right? Now, after all of this, this is one minion in 24 hours. So we would wanna multiply this by your minion slots. I have 24. So that means from snow minions, I get 1.4 million coins a day. Not bad, right? 1.4 million coins from snow minions every day. Now this is a convoluted process. It's kind of annoying because you have to change the action time for all your upgrades. Um, if you have any pets that affect the speed, if you have any upgrades, for example, fly swatters that affect the speed, you have to account for that. Um, and this is a kind of annoying process. I mean, if you get really good at it, it'll take like two minutes to do to calculate the earnings per minion. One quick thing I forgot, this is future virus here. I have another formula for you. This is the bonus speed um, calculators. It turns out that the speed of minion upgrades and fuels is not what it seems. For example, the famous case of the enchanted lava bucket, instead of being the 25% that people assume it is based on the description, it's actually a 20% speed boost. So bonus speed is equal to the base speed times in parentheses one minus and then parentheses again speed bonus sum divided by one plus speed bonus sum now what is speed bonus sum well an enchanted lava bucket gives you a 25 percent speed boost a farming crystal or farm crystal gives you a 10 percent speed boost a rabbit minion also gives you a speed boost if i can find it yeah so you would have to add, for example, mine is 10.5% efficient farming. So 10.5% plus 10% with the farm crystal plus 25%, 45.5% faster um, minion speed, right? Well, no, that's plus 45%, 45.5 is what you put here. So in this equation, that would be um, base speed times one minus 0 0.55 divided by one point five 1.455 that's how you actually get the speed after all bonuses so with a uh, snow minion for example the uh, base speed would be 6.5 and then times 1 minus 0 0.25 because of the lava bucket plus 1.25 and then that results in 5.2 now if i wanted to test that on something like lapis i could do that math but there's a quicker way to do it i actually went out and developed an app that is able to uh, calculate these earnings. So if we open the minion earnings calculator.jar, uh, I am the original developer, but my friend Rapjorn made a GUI for it. So it's a little uh, easier. So as you can see, it prompts us here, enter the time between actions. Let's put, um, we're gonna put 6.5 because that's the base speed of the snow minion. Items per action, 
two. Unit price, one. And then we can enter our fuel type, which is a lava bucket. So this is a bit more advanced. Now we can actually uh, account for all the different upgrades. I have diamond spreading as my first upgrade. I don't have any of these other things for my second upgrade. No additional bonuses. And then 24 minion slots. And then boom, it will actually show you the same exact number that I just calculated using the Google calculator, except it does it all at once. How cool is that? Now here comes the part where this makes money, right? Uh, first of all, this minion calculator is a bonus for being a YouTube member or Twitch subscriber or Discord uh, Nitro Booster on my Discord, the 30 virus botnet, discord.gg slash 30 virus. Now I know this is a little controversial because there's a quote paywall, but I just demonstrated how to figure this out on your own. This tool just makes it easier. So before I get flamed on the forums, I gave you the secret sauce, the, you know, the formula for how to calculate this yourself. But if you want to be faster, then you can use the minion calculator, which of course this goes without saying, but don't download any unofficial versions that don't have source code linked because they could easily be viruses. Only get the official version uploaded by me or my staff in my discord. Or again, if someone does post source code for some other version and you're certain that the source code you're looking at is what you're running, then go for it. But otherwise, get the safe thing, get the consistent thing, the official calculator by 30 virus and Rob Bjorn. Of course, he put a lot of work into making this look nicer. Uh, anyway, so let's say that I have a theory, right? That I believe cooked mutton makes the most money of any item from a minion in Hypixel Skyblock. Now that's a guess. I don't know that, but if I want to verify that, I go to Enchanted Mutton. The price per is 3,651. Now I'm actually gonna divide that by uh, 160 really quickly because when you sell uh, anything at the bazaar, it makes sense to sell it as, a, um, as the Enchanted form. It's just more convenient, so divide by 160. 22.86 is what that is. So we're going to remember 22.86 is the unit price per regular mutton. Sheep minion. Now we're going to go best case scenario, tier 11. And tier 11s have a time between actions of 12 seconds. Now the last thing we need to figure out is the average resources per minion action. Now let's assume if I use my chicken farm design here with a little bit of different, you know, cactus in the middle. What if we can set up a 24 minion slot mutton farm that then drops the sheep into the middle where they die to cactus, which means every minion action, we get a drop, which means we would have an average time or an average uh, yield per minion action of one mutton, I think. We're going to assume one mutton per minion action on average. I think you only get one mutton per um, kill by cactus. There's also wool, which is insignificant. It's a little extra, but it's really not that much. Now, if we go to the minion calculator, let's put all that information in and see what happens. Enter the time between actions, 12 seconds. Items per action one, unit price of 22.86. Fuel type, we're gonna go with enchanted lava bucket, something realistic, right? And then, and you know, let's go diamond spreading actually, yeah. Second upgrade would be, of course, a super compactor, so we're not going to put any second upgrade for speed. Additional bonuses. Uh, let's say that we have a farming crystal down, which gives us 10, right? Farm crystal gives us 10%. And let's say I have a legendary rabbit pet, but it's only level 50. So we're going to give an additional bonus of 30%. 24 minion slots. So if I wanted to get into the Enchanted Mutton game, I would be making 6.5 million coins a day with 24 tier 11 mutton minions <laughs> with diamond spreading, enchanted lava bucket, and this farm here. That's pretty dang good. Now, of course, you can customize this to whatever your setup is. It could be 20 minion slots. It could be tier five. Um, 
sheep minions. You just gotta put the right speeds in. So there you go. That's my tutorial on how to figure out which minions make the most money. Now, this is going to disrupt the market quite a bit because there's a lot of, quote, secret strategies that have been hidden behind an information wall that has just been broken down. Again, if you want to uh, have access to that program, either uh, become a Twitch sub, twitch.tv slash 30virus, a YouTube member, of course, that goes without saying, uh, the join button next to my channel or the link in the description, or a Nitro Booster on my Discord. Uh, all people that do that get access to the donor chat, and then they're able to go to pinned messages and you'll see the latest version of the minion calculator. Don't download unofficial versions. They could be viruses, they could be worms, they could be things that hijack your account, steal all your coins. You don't want that. Get the official version. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.